Hey guys, what is up? This is Sarthak back again with another cool video where I am going to tell you how you can create an Android virtual device using Android Studio. So without wasting any much further time, let's get on to it. So simply just open up Android Studio. Sweet and I'm walking slow Sensitive, feel the afterglow Looking for things that I can't control Fear from my past cause it always shows Do I wanna try, can I let it go? Running from the past, wanting to be sure Chaos in my mind, constant deja vu But every time Once the Gradle Sync process is finished, click on Tools, go ahead and click on AVD Manager. Now over here, you'll see an option of creating a virtual device. Click on that button. So on the left, you can also see there are other options like TV. On the TV, there is a 1080p TV and there's a 720p TV. On Wear OS, there's a Wear OS Square, Wear OS Round Chain and Wear OS Round. On tablet, there are a lot of tablets available like the Pixel C, Nexus 9, Nexus 7 and other tablets. In automotive sector, there's a 1024p landscape screen available for many cars with Android Auto. So we are going to create a new Android virtual device which is going to be a smartphone. Over here, the different options are the Google Pixel, Nexus, Galaxy Nexus, other Google phones. So as of now, the latest Google phone is the Google Pixel 4a. But we won't download the Google Pixel 4a. Instead, we will download the Google Pixel 4 because the Google Pixel 4a won't have a Play Store. So we will click on Google Pixel 4 and then hit next. Over here, you can download the various Android system images. The latest one is Android R or Android 11. So we would be downloading that only. If you go ahead and click on other images, KitKat, Lollipop, Marshmallow and others are also available. But we will be downloading the Android R. So click on download. Over here you have to agree to the terms and conditions. I will click on accept and then make sure you read this. I've already read all this because I had to delete the AVD to install it again for the tutorial. Click on next. Now the download process has begun. The download size is about 1.1 gigabytes. Wait until the installation finishes. Now Android 11 has been downloaded. Go ahead and click on finish. Over here you can select Android R, hit next and now you could set up your Android virtual device AVD. You can give it a new name, I'll let it be as it is. You can change the startup orientation from portrait to landscape and you can change other settings like emulated performance and you can disable or enable the device frame. I would go ahead with the default settings. Click on finish and a new Android virtual device has been created. Over here, as you can see under your virtual devices section, Pixel 4 API 30 with Play Store has been created. Click on this play icon to launch this AVD in the Android emulator. Down there, you can see the starting AVD progress bar. This is our Android virtual device. This one over here is the Pixel 4.
striking out. Fred just fading day by day. I'm reaching out for someone who can take away the pain I feel, the things I haven't done at all. I've lost my way. But there you go. Our Android virtual device is now running, and you can use it however you want. When we swipe up, we can see the app drawer with the pre-installed apps like Android Auto, Calendar, Camera, Chrome, Clock, Drive, etc. And also, all these apps are really functional, and this Android virtual device works completely like a real Android device. For example, we can even open up the Google Play Store and can download the apps. But first of all, it will ask you for your Gmail account. You can also use the Chrome browser to browse the internet. I would be using the Android virtual device for installing my new app builds and to check whether they are working perfectly fine or not. So the benefit of using the Android virtual device for testing my apps would be that I won't have to connect a real Android device via USB cable every time I want to test my app. So this is how you could install an Android virtual device which comes with Android Studio. So that is it for this video guys. Hope you all enjoyed. Till that time peace and I'll see you in the next one.